Hi guys, a quick video for you here for the feed scroll generator for Autodesk Inventor. This video is relating to uh, a question we had from a customer about what kind of output can we get in terms of a video that we might want to show our clients of how this feed scroll is going to um, behave just to impress uh, from a visual point of view. And it got me thinking, how could we use the inbuilt simulate environment in the feed scroll um, generator app? to actually create something that looks a lot nicer than just a shaft on its own with a, um, a simple representation of a bottle here. So let's have a look at this. So if you've seen our other videos on, uh, on YouTube, then you'll know you can hit the simulate button for this app once you've generated a shaft like this. Um, and you'll be able to simulate it to see how the bottle behaves as it moves along the shaft. So let's just see how that works first, and then we'll look to extend that a bit. So I hit simulate up there, um, and it's going to then give me the ability to uh, to drag this slider here. Just change the view a little bit. Drag this slider here, and that shows me the bottles rotating and changing pitch as they move along the shaft. So um, we've actually got the ability to do anything that we want in this assembly file that's been created for the purpose of this simulation. So. What I can actually do is I can spin the model around using my preferred method. I can even drag these bottles around if I want and the shaft, but the minute I drag this again, it pings them back to where they were before. So using this knowledge to our advantage, we can actually place other stuff in this assembly and even replace these bottles with different type with a, with a more visually representative bottle in order to make a really nice compelling video and um, some imagery for the customer so um, so let's do that so first off let's try and replace these bottles with uh, you know uh, a better looking uh, version of of the bottle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit place up here and I've got a bottle example file so this is the actual bottle geometry that I used to create the sketch that created the um, the cut in the shaft when we actually did the generation operation. So I'll just place that bottle in the assembly anywhere, it doesn't really matter where. And now what I need to do is to replace this solid body in this file with the solid body in this file. So how do I do that? Well there's a useful tool in Inventor called Copy Object, which actually is a bit underappreciated I think. So what we can do is I, if I just drag this bottle off into space somewhere, all I want to do is to get first off get this bottle on top of this bottle so I'm going to drag it into position here roughly I could use constraints could use assembly constraints but we're just looking for a visual representation here so I'm not too bothered about the exact position once I've dragged it here I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit G on my keyboard or free rotate up here and if I select outside of that target window I'll drag it into roughly the right position and I'll click outside that um, crosshair and then I can uh, move it in any other direction that I want so let's just say that I want it you know slightly higher than, than it was before that's pretty close uh, in position and now what I can do is copy the geometry straight across from one to another so if I double click on bottle 2 here you see it's just got a solid body in there um, <clears throat> I need to be able to represent. I'm uh, sorry. I need to be able to see the other bottle. So I actually have to close this part now. So I double clicked on it, but now I'm going to close it and say no. And now I do double click on it again, and that will allow me to edit it in context of the assembly. So now here's the trick: is that I hit that modify drop down here, and then I can say copy object. And what that will enable me to do is to say I want to pick this solid body. Um, and I uh, want it to be a solid and then that's just going to copy it in the current position into this bottle representative part that I've got here so that's going to copy the geometry from bottle example into bottle 2 so I'm going to say OK and you see now bottle 2 has got two solid bodies the original one and the copied one okay so I'm going to delete the original one and right click and hit delete and there we are I've now got the bottle geometry represented in in the part where I didn't have before so I'm going to return to the assembly and you see what we've got here I'm now going to turn off the visibility of the bottle example because we don't need that anymore and then I've got these bottles looking a lot better in fact that bottle should have been moved down a little bit um, 
so I could I could do that again in fact I'll repeat myself just to show you how easy that is so if I head back into bottle 2 I wanted that to be moved down a bit so this is you know this is quite straightforward to do I'm going to um, excuse me I'm going to move bottle example down a bit by turning off the visibility of bottle 2 and move bottle example down a bit turn bottle 2 on again and just try and get that in the right position where I actually want it. So let's just say I want it there instead this time. Okay, so I'm going to go back into bottle 2, delete that base solid, and copy in the one that I actually want. So then I'm going to go to copy object and select that body as a solid and say OK. So I've copied it in again. If I return up to the assembly now, it's a little bit lower than it was before. Okay. So hopefully that gives you an example of how that's done. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the one that I copied, the one that I placed in. And now if I drag this slider, the bottles ping back to where they should be. And I can uh, drag them around and the bottle looks a lot nicer. So that's step one. Step two is you might want to just place in some other parts of your factory layout, your production layout into this assembly for you know for visual aid when you're creating the simulation so I'm going to hit place up the top here I'm going to just bring in my example bottling assembly which uh, may or may not be uh, practical in a real production environment um, and let's uh, just place this in a, a representative location so this is for example only really I know that this is um, not uh, not real world okay so I'm going to place that on there and just drag it round to roughly the right position okay so now I've dragged that round I can make some changes to my visual setup I could for instance um, you know turn off the I think that I can turn off uh, make it clean screen if I want to um, I could then make it um, perspective I could turn on shadows here in the view tab and I can just try and make this look as as nice as I can and then I can simply just zoom in in the area where I'm concerned with and then drag the slider just like I did before okay so let's just zoom in and then drag the slider and I'll get a representation of these two bottles moving along and twisting and changing their pitch as they're moving Okay. Well, I hope you find this interesting. I enjoyed making this video and uh, see you next time.